Acts 3.13, exhorting one another daily. Some years ago I was in Ireland. I spoke on that verse. I said, is this a suggestion or a command? Exhorting or encouraging one another daily. It seems like a command to me. I don't know any other way to understand this verse except that every Christian, every day, is to find a way to encourage another believer. Anyway, I left. I came back a year and a half later. This elder said to me, see that young man over there? Yeah. He took that verse to heart. And since you left a year and a half ago, he won't go to bed at night until he's encouraged another Christian in our assembly. He said he's become the most valuable member of our assembly. It's contagious. Other people are doing it. So we're almost getting too happy. The, 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 <laughs> he'll, you know, you can send flowers. You can leave a message on a voicemail. You can email somebody, Facebook somebody. You can visit them. You can send them cookies. You can make a casserole. You can do a thousand different things to say to somebody else, I know life is tough. We appreciate you. We thank God for you. To say, God helping me, this I want to be my daily pattern, my daily manner of life. I'm looking for an opportunity to encourage another Christian. Lord, lay on my heart today someone who needs a word of encouragement. I tell you, within the hour, someone will come to your mind. And you pick up the phone and call them and say, Hey, you know who was thinking about you just now? The Lord. I asked him, who in my assembly should get a phone call right now? And he put your name on my heart. He's thinking about you. You know what that would do to a Christian, especially somebody in tough times? Man, it would just, it would be just like that word of the Lord Jesus, peace be still, and the sea was a great calm. Wouldn't it? Just like that.